Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to make two cards using the die cut pack and then one using one of the ribbons from the ribbon pack. First, um, the one with the die cut, you're going to need with the die cuts a thick, like, heavy sheet of cardstock, a ruler, a pen or a marker, and some glue. Now, for the sake of this, I'm going to use tape because I want this to go as quickly as possible and ain't nobody got time to watch me glue stuff down anyway. So here, what I'm going to show you how to do is I've already pre-selected some of the die cuts I wanted for this card. We're going to make it so that the opening is facing down towards us. And what I want to do is arrange the ornaments that came in the pack. Um, let me see. Get them how I want them to be arranged. And that looks pretty cute. So like I said, here's the part where you glue this down. But I am going to, for the sake of argument, just use tape. So I can show everyone how to do this very quickly. Like I said, none of these projects are like really in depth. I'm rather crafty, but you don't need to be that super crafty to be able to do these projects. And you really don't even need that many like craft supplies. Like if you don't have a ruler and there's some tape in your house, girl, mm, that is just shameful all in itself. No, I'm just playing. I don't want them to all be um, exactly on the same length. I'm sure you all have seen different variations of this kind of card. It's an easy card and sometimes people will draw the ornament. Sometimes people use other um, mixed medias. I've seen people use buttons to do this as ornaments. I've seen people draw actual ornaments. I mean, it really is whatever you want it to be. But since we have the die cuts, and there were already these schnazzy, cute, adorable ornaments in the die cut set, I figured, well, why the heck not make a really quick Christmas card? So then we'll put him here. Here's where the ruler comes into play. So you want to make it like there's strings, so you want to draw lines. You can use a regular pen. I don't know. I want to see if it looks cute using my Sharpie. I'm not exact. I mean, pinpoint it to eyeball it to where what you think is a straight line. One. There's a little bit of a chip on that side of my ruler, so I'm going to actually move this around to this side. Okie dokie, that looks like about a straight line. Draw to there. About a straight line, draw it to here. Oops. Oh, I think it looks so cute with the pink. Ah, I love it. OMG, OMG, OMG. Super cute. This doesn't have to be exact. I mean, it's homemade. It's very clear that, you know, Hallmark did not make this card. So if anyone's expecting exact straight lines and complains about it. Oof, let me not hit my... I need a cameraman, everybody. This would be so much easier if I had someone helping me. Tell my husband, quit his day job. Another line. Bam. Presto. Magic. Adorable. Look, it looks like just cute little ornaments. Now, there are other little die cuts in here if you want to add, like, little sprinkle of one of these over here, maybe a sprinkle of one of these little snowflakes. I mean, you can really jazz it up however you like. I believe there is a die cut in there somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. You can use the die cuts that say Merry Christmas and go ahead and put them on there. You could use one Merry up top, Christmas on bottom, or you can just take the time to write it out. I think just having the ornaments by itself looks gorgeous enough. So that was adorbs and super quick and easy. The next thing I'm going to show you, the next card, I'm going to use this pre-made card. You can get like pre-made, um, here let me see, pre-made cards, uh, oh I don't have it down here. It came in a pack, it has envelopes that fit it exactly. 
And for this one, we're gonna use that ribbon, the third one to the down, the third one to the down, the third one down, the one that says Happy Holidays. And basically what you're gonna do with this is unravel that. You can see how I started it. This end is cut at an angle. You're gonna just take um, sections, see about how long your card is and measure a little ways in. I'm not good at measurements, but measure a strip that's just a little bit in and just that looks even, but make sure when you cut it, you cut it at an angle like so. Because what we're gonna do here is I'll show you in a second. So we're actually going to make a Christmas tree form out of it. Now I have pre-cut pieces of ribbon. So we have one here and one here. Just cut, keep cutting them shorter than the last one and then remember to angle it. I don't know if I wanna, this is, then the very, very top, you're just going to cut a little triangle out of that. Then what we're gonna do is you're gonna put one of the stars that's in that die cut set at the top. Maybe I'll push that a little down. I just want you guys to get the general idea because I know my videos last a million years and you don't need to see that. Just take a pen and draw in a cute little tree trunk if you'd like. If you don't, you could just leave it plain. You can use another ribbon to make it look like there's a tree trunk, but I just thought that was super cute use of your ribbon too as well. Now you can also use any of these ribbons to wrap presents or anything else, but I thought this was super cute and super fun. And once again, write whatever message you want. And then I have one more project for you, so stay tuned.